Okay, I can already tell that this is going to get weird. Hello ladies and gents, it's Madison Harnish back here in my blue kitchen filming another MLM video. And today we're talking about a really bizarre MLM and the pearl parties that they do. But before we get into that, make sure you're subscribed, click the bell and like this video if you want to see more anti-MLM videos in the future. And let's get into it. If you're new to my channel, I'm a girl who overanalyzes a lot of random subjects, but one of my favorite subjects to talk about is MLM companies and all their bizarre interactions and business practices. MLM companies take advantage of innocent, unassuming people and cause them to lose a lot of money, a lot of friends, and a lot of respect and dignity. But some of these MLM companies themselves are so random and strange that I really don't know where they come up with this stuff. So I thought I'd share a really weird MLM company today and have kind of like a mini series within my MLM series be like, really strange, bizarre MLM companies. Today, I wanna to talk about pearl parties and the MLM company Vantel Pearls. Vantel Pearls is behind the infamous Facebook pearl parties. Vantel Pearls is a jewelry company, which isn't necessarily strange in itself, but these pearl parties are a really interesting, bizarre concept, and it gets even deeper than that. Here's how the pearl parties work. First, you buy a piece of jewelry from a Vantel Pearls Hanbot, which gets you an oyster that's opened during a Facebook Live party. These Hanbots will read off your name, then crack open an oyster, which contains a special pearl grown inside that oyster. Yeah, sounds legit. This MLM company just happens to have all these pearl containing oysters. Hmm. There are a bunch of different colored pearls within these oysters, some more rare than others. And when you receive a pearl from a lovely humbot on a Facebook Live pearl party, the humbot ships the pearl over to you with all the jewelry that you bought. A peacock black. It went back inside. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the peacock blacks because they're like this beautiful color changing black and it's so pretty. Oh, I love this color. Look at that. Look at that. Gorgeous. I can't believe it. You need to play the lottery because honestly, It is a champagne. <laughs> it is really beautiful. Oh wow. See that? Oh my goodness. See how pretty it is? All together and you can see the variations. 7.1. That's really, really, really big for a black one. Usually they, they stay pretty in the low sixes. So this one is estimated at $78. $78. That is gorgeous. Obviously, these pearls are extremely valuable and you can feel excited about this rare and priceless product that you just got. This rare, one-of-a-kind, single pearl. I'm sorry, What what's the point of having a single pearl? I don't really get that. Except for these pearls actually aren't valuable at all. The oysters, these humbots, open are not capable of producing the pearls of that color that are shown to be opened in the oyster. Does that make sense? Literally, it's all a lie. These pearls actually come from completely different oysters cultured on an oyster farm. The pearls are then harvested, dyed, and inserted into the oysters shown at the party. The oyster is then dipped into a chemical bath to seal it back shut as if it's been untouched and then vacuum packed into a preserving solution. Pearl party hostess boss babes almost always wear gloves. If this was a natural pearl, 
from a natural oyster, why would you have to wear gloves to open it? And that's extremely disappointing considering it was kind of the only cool aspect of Vantel Pearls, the company. The actual jewelry itself is extremely cheap and gaudy and just not good at all. And in my opinion, pearl parties were created as a gimmick to distract from the extremely cheap jewelry that they sell. Like a revamped QVC commercial, consultants in the pearl parties lead the people watching to believe that these pearls are worth a lot when they're opened. It's estimated at $78. $78. If that was the case, why wouldn't the consultants themselves just keep all the pearls? They'd definitely be making a lot more money than they're making right now in this MLM scheme. Welp, these pearls are actually worth less than a dollar. Yes, they're worth less than a dollar. You could buy a meal at McDonald's that's worth more than these pearls, or a Subway $5 foot long, that's literally five times the cost of these pearls for a single sandwich. Think about that. This company is also extremely vague and misleading. The metal content of their jewelry, the actual quality of the products that they sell, and they overprice everything on their site under the facade that these pearls are just so extremely valuable. And it kind of is like this shiny thing that distracts from really how cheap and bad all the products are. Worst of all, the chemicals used to preserve the oysters have not been adequately disclosed. So the pearl and the oyster aren't even technically safe to handle. Many believe because of Vantel Pearl's willful lack of disclosure about what chemicals they're using, that the oysters are treated with highly toxic chemical compounds, such as ethanol, which is illegal to ship to Northern America and some parts of Europe without a disclosure form, or worse, formalin or brominated solutions. Why do all of these MLM companies go above and beyond to do the worst shadiest things? Is it a not is it not enough that you're a pyramid scheme that you have to put people in danger too? So yeah, I wanted to talk about this MLM and make a short video because A, it's just such a bizarre concept to host a pearl party and do a pearl opening and it's just weird how it caught on. I really don't get it. But B, I haven't really heard too much about this specific MLM and it seems like a really dangerous company considering they haven't disclosed what chemicals they use in their oysters. They're kind of scamming people. Not kind of, they are definitely scamming people into believing these oysters are worth a ton of money when in fact they're worth less than a dollar and any reputable jeweler would not even take it. It's literally that cheap and not valuable at all. What they're doing is actually extremely dangerous and dishonest and I'd read a ton of different articles about people who've actually put a ton of money into buying Vantel jewelry to collect these pearls, thinking that they're like priceless pearls that they can, you know, add to their collection, when in fact, they're literally worthless and people have sunk so much money into it. So it's really gross and sad. And if you hear about anyone who's looking into hosting or buying from a pearl party, just let them know about this because it's crazy and super weird and just a bad thing to get into. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of a quicker video on Vantel Pearls and these pearl parties. Once again, if you'd like this video, subscribe, give a thumbs up. It definitely helps um, grow my channel. I'm kind of a newer channel wanting to grow a little bit more. And thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.